And fellas, the reason I brought it up is because um, the MLS uh, just released a statement saying they're going to bring back the MLS Reserve League. Now, you guys are veterans, and you guys can remember the Reserve League before um, the USL and they merged with the USL. Gooch, um, Gooch can't. He, he started. Yeah, he, was, he, started yeah, he his, wasn't. Uh... Yeah, but he, at least he was old enough to be around, God damn it. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but my question to you is that we, we've seen these 17-year-olds, 18-year-olds now getting the opportunity to play in the MLS on the first team and, and doing well. Is that a clear result? from having the USL and having these reserve teams playing the US, USL against grown, pe- grown men and getting that competition, getting that game, game, in, game week and week experience, right? At, at something that matters. Now the MS reserve, my concern is that one day is gonna be U23, which is great uh, because it, it'll definitely focus on the younger players, but also will the games matter? And I think that's a key for development of young players is playing in, in games in an environment where it does matter and something's on the line. And the MS Reserve is there in the USL. I mean, they're playing in USL one, USL championship. So that's the league. They're playing in USL League One. Who the MLS? No, uh, not, all, not yeah. Not no, all of them. Most of the second teams of the. MLS. I thought it was separate. Now, most of the, like, for example, you have Red Bull 2 playing in championship. You have Portland right. playing in championship. Right, you have, right. I got uh, that. Battles, but then you have some teams that are playing in the League 1, like League Orlando, one. Orlando right. City, right? right? And so now, basically, what's happening is they're reintroducing this league that basically happened back in the day when we had Project 40, right? Um, where if the second teams of MLS choose to, they can withdraw their teams from the USL leagues. Um, or they have the they have the opportunity and the the option to remain in it. So of a, of 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 a couple of days ago, I've heard that Orlando City's taken them out. Uh, I think there's two more teams that decided to withdraw from the USL affiliation. So I'm with Mookie. Like I think that having hold on uh, hold on hold on what he say? Oh, this guy. <laughs> I, I'm right. with Mauricio in regards to how the USL in regards to the hierarchy right now was assisting these players in terms of development. There's there's something to be said with uh, young players playing in a respected professional league against men and improving their ability versus uh, under 23s playing against other under 23 players. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know? Yeah, but is this, so, okay, is this league, yeah, it's going to be an under 23. Is it going to be, okay, but is it going to be like like in Europe, you know, even though you're in, Division two or Division three, there's still a champion at the end of that. You're not going to go up because you're still a fit right. There's right there's, but is there a champion at the end of this tournament? Well, or well, let's league? assume let's assume that they're going to have a champion at the end, but it's still ultimately under 23s playing against under 23s, unless the first team has a couple players that are either need minutes or injured that need to jump into there. Similar, same as as uh, overseas, right? It's the same thing um, in the English Premier League, right? The the second the reserve league is U23. So even your old ass bees, you can if you were on Houston and you got hurt, you can still play U twenty three. But that's the majority of the players that have to be under twenty three years old. So yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, so so the great thing what some teams like Philadelphia are already doing is that they're eliminating the U nineteens, and now they're having those kids from seventeen on. If you're good enough, you'll play with the U twenty threes and get a chance to play with you know, older players. So um, a funny thing, it sounds like that what they're doing is is similar to the USL Academy. And how they had basically came up with that the system of you know the best players from 15 to 19 are going to play in this one league exactly exactly so, yeah so are they basically they're competing and copying each other's uh blueprint what's the deal Good, that, you, know they, you know they don't like each other <laughs> but they work MLS with each other they yeah, not like each other to. work yeah that's like, like that's like us we don't all yeah. like y'all We'll, we'll like each other, but we have to work together. Shit. That, that, it is what it is. Yo, but Gucci hit on the head. I, I didn't think about that. The USL was the first ones to announce that that, yeah. that transition in the academy. And I think the MLS is like, oh, shit, good idea. All right. <laughs> oh, man. No, nah, but, speaking, but speaking of Project 40, what I remember of Project 40, because I was a part of that. Like when I first came and signed with, uh, well, signed with LA, but then I went to Chicago and I was going to school and playing at the same time. Uh, right when I finished my, my senior year of high school, um, I was, I, I, you know, I started with Chicago. I was going, but then at, in the beginning of it, beginning of my career, I wasn't playing the minutes that I, I was when I first, first started with Chicago. And uh, so I got sit down to the Project 40, 
But the, the Project 40 was, it was a joke. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, I mean, we had, there was, you know, a lot of young, good players, this and that. But on the road, when we played games, like we went, to, I remember we went, to, we went to Argentina. We went to different places around the world. I played different club teams around the world. Uh, but, I mean, it was, it was fun. It wasn't serious. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it wasn't as, like, if we lost, it was like, oh, man, you know, we, something's going to happen. Or, you know, there was no pressure. It was just, you know, we all got, we're all there, we're all, we're all here for a reason because we're, we're not playing our, 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 our first team and we're just going to play, you know, it was, it was fun. It was fun. So when you talk about pressure and, and there was zero, I don't know if it's going to be the same as that. I hope not because it was for me, the, the project 40, um, it was good in the sense that you did get games because you played against, I remember playing against, you know, Boca juniors, we went to Argentina and playing against, you know, San Lorenzo playing against good teams. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's, it's just friendly. It didn't mean much. You right. know what I'm saying? So I hope that, like you said, you know, the pressure is still on that they got to win and there's some kind of incentive in it or, you know, not as you got to, you don't have more than just, oh, you're going to go down and get a game. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. every, every player, and we know, because we've been, we players, if you're 23 or, or you're um, a a veteran and going down to play with the 23, maybe because you're injury, you're injured, sorry. And you maybe need some fitness. You're gonna go through the motions. Right? Yeah. That's it. Is what it is. That's that's the truth of it. You know what I'm saying. So if there's no pressure, which I don't know, because you know I'm not I'm not to say I'm I'm the first one to know everything about this league. That because you know I probably should be, but I don't, and I, I'm not afraid to say that. No, but it's, it's not even that though. But but you had firsthand experience in your development. And are you telling us is it better to have be in a pressure environment or a non pressure? I think if it's done right. No, I just think if it's done right, it it, it can be beneficial. Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. 100%. I'm just saying the P the P40, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was it, it, it was good because we got to play against um, uh, other good youth youth players around around the world, not even just in America, around the world. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That was a good part. We got to travel. We got to you know hang out with kids that were the same age as you, or not me because I was 17 and you know everybody else is 20, 22, 23. You know what I'm saying? So that part was cool, but there was no you know, incentive to kind of, you know, play well. It was just like, we have, you just play with your boys, which is cool, but it's, it was no, and that, and that's you know my what I'm concern, concern, Gooch, is that, you know, you as a person who has been in the back staff, you know that, you know, especially the, the League Two players, or uh, the, the MLS Two teams, what do they tell those players, right? And can you develop at a high level when you don't have that type of responsibility to win games where it's just like, you know, just get him some sweat, work on a couple of things. I mean, it's good and bad. That's why I really need to tap into I you think guys. Right now, I think right now it's going to be a, it's going to be a huge question mark, right? Because yeah. we know that they had an iteration of this back in the day and Bees was just explaining how, you know, he took part in it a little bit and it's just going to be a question of how they form it, how it's going to be, because I mean, you can't be blind to the fact that, you know, there was, um, some a lot of positive notes of these young players developing against these older men, whether win or lose. You know they're yeah. playing against better, physical, stronger individuals, and yeah. you know pressure pressure makes diamonds, yeah. right? And so, um, yeah, yeah. Well, it does hopefully it doesn't. But the, but the one thing, but the one thing I, I will say that was different with PJ P forty is that we they were it was you know two or three players from one team two or three players from one team two or three players from one team one player from other team you know what i'm saying so that part was whole totally different you know now i can see the difference because you're going in with your team you know your club is going to watch you play you know what i'm saying like so maybe that gives the player more incentive to go out and do well because they're with the club and they can get to the first team you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying and before it was more so the 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 coaches couldn't really watch how you played yeah. you know because we'd be in argentina and you just they would talk to the coach and say, okay, how did DeMarcus play? Yeah. And the coach would say this and this and this. But then you got a, you got a guy from, from LA Galaxy. You got two guys from the Columbus Crew. You got another guy from uh, DC United. You know what I'm saying? So we just all got put together, and it was like an all-star youth team. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that was a difference between people. That, and that's why – and I don't want to get it twisted. That's why I said – well, that's why I said hey, that it was not a joke. It was just – it wasn't serious. You know what I'm saying? It was more of a fun trip to go play – to get some games against good competition. So I think it can be different uh, as far as, you know, the, the, the teams being in uh, under one league and being under one roof.